it's me. We're back. <laughs> Fire him. Hooray! Left off on a cliffhanger. A boss battle. Oh, what in the sweet, holy, matrimonial hell is this? What does this do? Permanently increases magic by two. Oh, I'm the wrong person to have this. Convoy. Store. I am the worst person to be having that, because I like it. You know, I have magic, but like... Okay, okay. Go away. Go away. What do you mean I can't do anything else? What do you mean that was my action? No! No! <laughs> this is like using the wrong potion in Baldur's Gate 3. I was trying to use a bonus action potion and I accidentally used a main action, an action potion. Whatever. Anyways. Okay, oh, so what, how, how are we gonna do this? What are we gonna do here? Claude, don't get too close. Oh no. These, these guys. They hurtin'. Oh Jesus. Oh jeez, whoop. No, let's, let's go back. Let's go back, actually. I stand ready. You're gonna go there. You need help. I could use a break. I think I have. Are you not? So we will go back. Stay focused. I got this. I got this. Ready and willing. Okay. God, Ready I, I don't know how bad this is gonna go. Let's get to it. I'm scared. I'm scared. Give me that, right? And then I can use it. Hooray! Ah, oh, she needed one too, though. Leave it to me. Items. Oh my God. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? They want to make one of the first big bosses that. Oh my God, that hard, would they? Jesus Christ! The boulder returns. <laughs> We got... Ah, oh, nuts! Okay, okay. I'm so scared. I'm so scared. 
Monster. Oh, Monster Blast. That thing's a monster. Wasted his cavalry. Me? Man, what are you on for? Damn. I've got an idea. Have four people, and I still only need that little damage. Oh, nice. That was a good spread. Uh oh, spaghettios. Oh, 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 spaghettios. The spaghettis are saying, oh. oh. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, what do I do here? Oh no, she's gonna get point. Still attack, but like uh, I don't want her. Ah, uh, I don't know. I don't want her to get hurt. Jesus. Down. No, she's down. She's down. Oh, Jesus. Oh, uh, this guy's dead. Oh, my God. I have yet to be forgiven. For now, I must retreat. Oh, my God. Okay. Don't panic. Do not panic. Once you start panicking, you fly out the go. window. We, we, we're not gonna start paying oh, Jesus Christ, oh, let me see. Stay calm, nobody panic! Nobody panic! Now how are you gonna do that much- uh, Again! Ugh, oh, whatever. Do it! Get again! I'm enjoying this game. I'm greatly enjoying this game. Alright, one more boss. Health bar. Let us be cautious. Let's see, let's see. Jesus Christmas crackers. All that health, dude. Oh my god. I genuinely don't know what to do here. Damn it. In this situation, we had that many people. Uh oh. 
Uh oh, SpaghettiOs. That's the last person that wants to have its attention. Oh, this panel over here. MVP, MVP. The boy! The MVP. Leveled up. Nice. Jesus. Goddess. The beast is gone. Yet Miklon and the Lance remain. We defeated him somehow. Let's grab the Lance and return to the monastery. Stage complete. 22 turns. Jesus Christ. How was I the MVP? Everyone's motivation increased. Oh, we need a break. Yeah, I'm, I'm enjoying the game, man. It's simple. That it's man, nice. His form was changed. It was as though that lance was swallowing him whole. On that side, it makes sense that your students were upset. I wonder if those relics truly hide such power. Yet even still, that power seems familiar. That form as well. As one who wields the sword of the Creator, does that mean you possess that power too? Professor, you have returned. The goddess is indeed generous with her divine protection. I have already heard Gilbert's report about what happened. See to it that you keep what transpired at the tower to yourself. People would lose faith in the nobles should rumors spread of one using a relic and transforming into a monster. All regions of Fodland would fall into chaos. We must avoid that at all costs. Please ensure the students who accompanied you understand that as well. Have I made myself clear? Yes, of course. His transformation into a black beast was nothing short of divine punishment from the goddess. Punishment for someone arrogant and foolish enough to use a hero's relic even though they were unworthy and unqualified. You knew? Of course. That is why we rushed to recover it. Sadly, we did not arrive in time. The church will formally return the lance to House Gautier, if you would. Mm. You have my gratitude. I can see that I was right to trust you with this. Please report back. I will tell you of your new mission for the coming moon at that time. That's, uh... Nice work, Teach. It's thanks to you that we successfully completed our mission. As for Miklon, I wonder if he really believed he could wield a relic. Hard to say. <clears throat> I bet he just wanted to get his hands on it, even though he knew he couldn't use it. Though I'm sure he wasn't counting on turning into a monster like that. I wonder if that monster represents another aspect of a hero's relics. What a strange and terrifying power. I don't know. Stories of misfortune have followed the hero's relics since ancient times. Tomas, you've caught me by surprise. That's not easy to do. Though I suppose I should have expected to see our librarian in his library. I am sorry to intrude. I simply heard you speaking of the hero's relics. 
I can tell you more about them if you'd like. The story goes that Nemesis was corrupted by evil because of the sword of the creator. Other heroes also lost themselves by continuing to use the relics, transforming into black beasts with twisted souls. There used to be a great many records regarding the dark history of the relics. It used to be. They have been destroyed across all of Fodlan, stripped from their shelves, including those that resided at this very library. You make it sound like the church is covering up the truth. But now that you mention it, Rhea was very specific about not wanting anyone to find out what happened at Conan Tower. Hey, Tomas, why are you telling us all of this? It seemed like you were searching for answers about the relics. What is a librarian if not a guide in the search for knowledge? And not only have you been searching, but you have been doing so through the night. I would suggest you stop before the night's notice. And that is enough meddling for today. Please excuse me. So I've been found out, have I? I suppose I do spend more time at the library than most students. But I won't stop. I can't afford to. What are you after? Teach. You don't really expect me to tell you something so personal just like that, do you? Though, I wouldn't mind sharing if you were to tell me some of your secrets in exchange. I can't let this exchange pass without comment. If you're sharing secrets, perhaps I can share one as well? Are you like. sure you could survive that? I'd say you're the least likely to share secrets out of everyone at the Academy. <laughs> Coming from you, I'll take that as a compliment. After all, you're easily the student with the most secrets. I'm afraid you overestimate me. My secrets don't amount to much. But back to teach. Don't try to change the subject, Claude. We're talking about secrets. Yours. Who is your father? And why did you appear so suddenly as if from nowhere? Duke Regan's eldest son died in an accident. Having tragically lost other family members as well, he was without an heir. The Alliance would undoubtedly have been shaken if House Regan had lost its position of leadership. But then you showed up. Why did you return to House Regan? What brought you to the monastery? I'd like to hear this as well. Oh boy, I'm trapped here. I have no choice but to surrender under your intimidating gazes. My dream, in truth, is a selfless dream, but I require power to make it a reality. When I learned about the power of my crust, I knew I had a chance. So I'm chasing that dream, to the bitter end, if need be. I came to this monastery because I thought I might find someone useful, someone to help me on my path. So, what do you think? If you promise to help me achieve my dream no matter what, I'll promise to tell you anything. I have my own dream to tend to. I pray that yours does not interfere with mine. What about you, Teach? If it's a noble dream. I see. Well, now isn't the time to discuss this. You are still my Teach, after all. Professor, you have done well to complete such a difficult task. You have shown exceptional skill in leading your students. I am forever grateful for the safe return of the hero's relic. Just as I expected, you have mastered the sword of the creator. <laughs> now then, I shall tell you about your mission for the coming month. Re Archbishop! Seteth, what troubles you? Flane is missing. I cannot find her anywhere. Professor, have you seen Flane recently? I have not. I have searched everywhere. Where could she be? She may be in danger. Oh, no, no, no. What am I to do? Calm yourself, Sedith. Professor, we shall continue our discussion another time. All right. <clears throat> Where is his sister? Part one. White clouds. Horsebow moon. Rumors of a reaper. 
Reaper Reaper, you say? As cold air begins to creep in from the north of Fargus, Fodlin welcomes the riches of fall. The women spend their days reaping the golden fields, gratefully embracing the bounty the goddess has once again provided. The men venture into the wilds with horse bows and empty sacks ready to be filled with game. I, that, that's one of those things where like it's not really necessary but it is one of those things where like they put to like try to get you to I guess have a grasp of what kind of world you're delving into you know to, to, to me it's not necessarily important because like I rather know of the characters themselves versus like the, the whole story of the world and all that uh, what's happening Saturday is she still missing? Jesus As I Christ. believe you are already aware, Sedith's younger sister Flame has gone missing. At present, all we know for certain is that she has not left Garrick Mach. Flame is not the type of person to just wander off on her own without telling me where she is going. We have searched the monastery thoroughly, but have found nothing. I am now mobilizing the knights to begin searching the town. Troubling rumors have been running rampant lately. I do not wish to consider the worst, but... What is it you're afraid of? There are rumors of someone prowling the streets and attacking innocents night after night. The knights have investigated the matter. They have not discovered any remains, nor have they found any concrete evidence. The people are panicked. They all insist someone called the Death Knight is coming to claim their souls with his blade. There is no way she could have escaped unscathed if she were captured by such a fiend. Where is she? Seteth, recall that impatience begets error. Please do your best to calm yourself. I think of your sister as family as well. You know that. You have my support. We will devote ourselves fully, mind, body, and soul, to recovering her. Professor, your mission for this month is to help find Flane. The Knights have the town covered, so I ask that you focus your efforts on searching the monastery again. We do not have time to waste. You have your orders. Yes, ma'am. Ow. What? Flane is missing? So finding Flane is our mission for the month, I take it? Wait. Who's Flane? Said it's little sister. Surely you've seen her flitting about the monastery. She is the girl who looks about the same age as me, but seems well beyond her years. Sedith is much older than Flane. He's always looking out for her. He must be worried sick. If I were to go missing, I can't imagine what that would do to my brother. When searching for something, it's best to start by gathering information. Hopefully someone has seen Flane. Hopefully. Oh, it's Petra's birthday! Give flowers! Today is going to be a rest day. I can't even rest, I have to explore. Are you kidding me? I'm being forced to explore. Certifications, can anyone... Ooh, Lorenz. Odds of passing, 100%. A mage, I don't really... Mercenary thief. Lance. Hmm. I have to think about it. Ignats! You can go for your archer class now. Flying colors. I can't believe I did it. Ew. She can go for the mage now. And it has a hundred percent chance. Is that bonus? Nice. Perfect. 
Not the biggest at this bonus, but hey. Extra health isn't bad. Ooh, intermediate. Brigand. Ooh, I really like that outfit. The Brigand. That's it. No one else can, except for Lorenz, can go up. Uh, that's okay. Okay. Blacksmith. <laughs> the blacksmith can't repair it, can they? Oh, they can. All right. I thought they couldn't, but hey, that's everything. Okay. Italians, we punish. Okay. Holy monks. Brawlers. Let's give it all we've got. At this point, I feel like everyone should have something, you know? Uh, oh, I, I'm broke. Never mind. I am losing money. Alright, well, anyways. We're forced to explore. Let's explore. Begin exploring. Oh my. Just one small girl who's gone astray has caused all this. We cannot let this stand. You must do all you can to find out where she's gone. Now ask around to see what information you can find. Come now, no time to waste. Of course not. And I guess I have some extra quests I can do. Hello? Dear goddess, hear my prayer. Please watch over. You um, quest. May I ask a favor? Herbs fit for a horse. For a horse, right? Bundle of herbs. It could be for anyone. Well. Okay. The greenhouse. Someone's there. I mean the quest. Ding, ding, ding. The thing for the quest is here. The birthing herbs. That's, that's weird. Harvest. Nice. Masterclass. Adjutants. Once you reach Professor Level C, you can assign an adjutant to follow the unit into battle. The number of adjutants you can assign for battle increases with the Professor Level. Depending on the class, adjutants can provide one of three types of aid. Follow-up, guard, or heal. Occasionally adds a follow-up attack in combat. Defends against and reduced damage from follow-up attacks. Occasionally heals a host unit at the start of a turn. More effective at higher support levels, they get experience battle, but do not lose weapon durability. They do not die if the host is defeated. Okay. Sounds convenient. Scatter the bone meal. Make it grow faster. Professor. Yeah, I'm working on it. You gotta find her. I'm working on it. Anyways. I need to have a dinner date with my wife. And the person whoever wants to join. Today's special. Does she she likes today's special? Nice. And who else? I guess Hanneman. I don't know who else. <laughs> Kinda don't care. Eating this is my most nice. Not really sure when I get like max bonds or anything like that. Let's see. Let's see. Go back to the cathedral. Marianne, the perfect herbs. I didn't mean to trouble you. 
Let's complete. A known complete. Training rounds, I think. Intermediate axe tournament today. Ooh. Did you hear about flame? Some of the lower ranks. My swords did the skills. Go update us. Hello. I hope you're up for a challenge. Boy, the letter, deliver the letter. Admiring love letter. I can go to anyone. Who does it go to? It's the person here. Quest. Special delivery. No address, but there's only one person who's always working his hardest. Not very upfront with his feelings and has an adorable way of adorable way about him. Uh let's see. This one? Zero? I can't believe Flame just disappeared. I don't like it one little bit. Oh, are you here to see someone? Alois and Shamir and all the knights are gonna head into town soon. Uh Admiring Love Letter. Thanks, Professor. Well, Owl Feather. The Officer's Academy. No, not here. Over here. Nice work. Well, what? I don't know what they said about it. They just said, hey, thanks for the gift. And I said, all right. Claude. No sign of her leaving the monastery, huh? That is, assuming we can actually trust that information. Oh, but I'm sure this space has no shortage of secret passages and hiding spots. True. For now, there's not much we can do aside from making a thorough search of the monastery. Let's ask around and see what we turn up. You never know who might have seen something. You can I ask you a favor? Except. All right, let's talk. Oh my God, there's so many people to talk to. There's so many people to talk to. No oh, true. Let's ask. Lost item. Who? Most anyone. Is this yours? Seen that thing before? Oh, okay, so I can just be like, hey, is this yours? Is this yours? Is this yours? How about this? Is this yours? Is this yours? <laughs> okay. What the heck is this? Hey. Online liaison. Oh, okay. We ain't, we ain't here to do online stuff. Hello, have you seen a little girl? Oh, spotless bandage. Where could Flame have gone? Do you think she's really been kidnapped? I hear Tomas has been going around asking about her. But he's probably just worried like the rest of us. Though it wasn't just Flame. He was asking about you and Captain Gerald, too. I see, I see. I see, I see. Hmm. I would deduce. Uh. Hey. hey. Who am I looking for to talk to? Who am I looking for? Uh. I hope Flane isn't going hungry. If someone really kidnapped her, I'll never forgive them. Now that I think about it, I saw Aloise hanging out by the pond not too long ago. He was always getting into trouble for trying to talk to Flame, you know? It's probably a crazy thought, but I'm starting to worry. Uh-oh. Well, that's a good lead. Oh, you're looking for Flame's kidnapper. I can't say anything for sure, but I do have suspicions about Yuritsa. There's something about how he's handling his blade lately. It seems more impulsive than usual. It couldn't hurt to try speaking with him, at least. 
At this hour, I think you'll find him sparring with Catherine at the training grounds. I see, I see. There's always so many people to talk to. Casper! The friendly ghost! To think that Flame would disappear like this. Sadeth must be worried sick. I haven't much to go off of, and perhaps it's out of line for me to feel so uncomfortable. But something has been bothering me for a while about Gilbert. I feel as though I've met him somewhere before. I also noticed him staring intently at Annette once. Hmm. Got everyone's giving me some XYZ, but you know, can't be sure. Hey there, Professor. Did you want to talk? What? Me? Abduct Flame? You can't really believe I did that. Did you find anything in the pond? Well, this may sound silly, but I was too scared to even look. I couldn't bear the thought of finding her in its depths. All right. Speak to whoever seems suspect. Professor? Professor? That's me! The cats! Oh my god! Look at that one just napping. Look at him. Just napping. Cleaning themselves. Eye night. Eyeballing. Just napping, dude. Sorry, I've never seen so many of them together at the same time. Hmm. What'd you say? This might be the first time I've ever seen Seteth look so worn down. If poor Flane was lured away by anyone. I personally think the clear suspect is that miscreant from Dusker. Those people are deceptive by nature. Jesus. Oh, oh, oh. We gotta find a person. What's this? What is this? Beyond here is where the knights reside. Oh, okay. Who else? Who? Let her. Flame? No, I haven't seen her. She's been abducted. Oh, you're looking for her. Sorry, my mind was somewhere else. I just recently learned she has a crest. Did you know that, Professor? If it was a particularly rare crest, I could imagine Professor Hanneman would have quite an intense interest in her. Oh, no. I'm not accusing Professor Hanneman of abducting Flame. Okay, that's good, because... He's like the least suspect, suspicious person, honestly. Hmm. Young Flame's disappearance is most troubling. What? Who would suspect me? You know what? I'll tell you who. A fool. That's who. <laughs> Bars. Is her crest rare enough to justify kidnapping her? Flame's crest, the major crest of Sethleen, is rare. But there are others who possess it. I see, I see. Okay, who else? Who else? Annette, hello and goodbye. We got people on our list. A moment. No, no moment. Is there Tell something us. the matter? I see. So Flane has gone missing. I will do what I can to support the search. Mm hmm? It seems that you are a bit suspicious of me. Might I ask your reasons? Oh, why were you asking about Flynn? I was away from the monastery for a few years, but do not forget. I have spent more than four decades in total working here at Garrick Mock Monastery. Yet it was not until recently that I learned that Seteth has a sister. It is only natural to be curious, don't you think? I assure you, there is nothing more to it than that. Okay. I'm going to be disappointed if, if it ends up being him, though. It's probably not going to be him, but I'm going to be disappointed if it ends up being him. Okay, where am I going? The hall! There's two people here. Professor. Dorifia. Hey, Professor, have you seen Dorifia? Dorifia. I saw her running off somewhere in a terrible hurry. I wonder if it has anything to do with Flane's disappearance. Do you know, Professor? You're on first... <clears throat> You're on first name terms with Professor Manuela? Oh, yes. Didn't you know? She was the senior diva in our opera company. I see. Petra! Flane was childnapped. That is what you are thinking? And the villain is inside our monastery? Hmm. 
I must have admittance. One person has been catching my eye. Shamir is a knight not like other knights. Her movements are being reminders of... No. They remind me of warriors of Bridget. Before she was here, what was she getting up to? Couldn't even tell you. Ugh, another person. The marketplace. You're all just pointing fingers. This is helping no one. What brings you here? I'm taking a break. Is this about Flane? You find me suspicious. <laughs> uh, what did you do before coming to the monastery? I was somewhere else, fighting. Is that a problem? I understand that I don't fit in among the Knights of Seros, but that hardly links me to Flane's disappearance. Well, I, I did. I wouldn't say that, but you know. What? Okay. We're almost there. Who? Who wants to talk to me? I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't get to this spot. Perception Hall it is. Professor! Professor, that's me! Who wants to talk to me? Who? Who is it? Professor. Hanuman. Ah, Professor. Always a pleasure to see you. I wonder, might you have a moment to chat? Uh, why? Uh, come now, you have no need to be on guard. I'd never cause you harm. You're far too valuable a specimen, uh, well, that is to say, too valuable a member of the Academy staff. Indeed, the further my crest research progresses, the closer you come to learning the truth of your heritage. Is it not so? When I learned you bore the lost crest, the very crest of flames itself, I set about learning everything I could about your past. What was the origin of your bloodline? How have the events of your life been shaped by your lineage? I became somewhat obsessed, I must admit. Weird. You investigated me? Nothing so crass as an investigation, no. I researched. I spoke to mercenaries whom you've worked with in the past to learn about your life before the Academy. Of course, I also contacted Gerald and his mercenary friends. Your father does keep rather interesting company. I'm excited to share with you what I learned, but I do ask that you correct me if I am mistaken on any account. The story begins with Gerald serving as captain of the Knights of Seros. There was a woman at the monastery with whom Gerald was quite close. At first, it seemed obvious this mystery woman was your mother. Alas, that cannot be the case. The timing is all wrong. As it was told to me, the woman in question passed away shortly before Gerald left the monastery. Yet your birth occurred some time later, while Gerald was taking work as a mercenary. This, of course, presumes your age is accurately reported. If you were born sooner, well, the story would be quite different, would it not? I don't know. It is intriguing, though, yes? Why is your age so difficult to pin down? For example, Gerald never once spoke of his time serving as captain of the Knights. That's quite a secret to keep for all those years. In the end, your old acquaintances had little definitive to say about either of you. However, they all agreed on one thing. Your father and yourself were a strong pair. Warriors to be respected and feared. You in particular. In fact, Many came to know you as the Ashen Demon. They say you would destroy your enemies without a hint of emotion on your face. The mercenaries I spoke to revered you as a living legend of sorts. The Ashen Demon. What is this, Dark Souls? So, that is what I learned. And, I admit, it is barely more than I knew before. The next step in my research is to ask your blood for answers and hope that it is more forthcoming than your past acquaintances. 
Support level C. You want a blood sample? Is that what you want? Anyway. I have to end the video here. In the next video, we will look for Flan. And I do want to try this. Hopefully, Homegirl Hild can win, but no promises. Anyways, like, comment, share, subscribe. See you in the next one. See you awesome. Laters.